Well, hearing the election interference lawsuit filed by the Republican National Convention and the Georgia Republican Party is being held right now. The lawsuit claims that seven Georgia counties, including Chatham County, illegally accepted absentee ballot drop offs over the weekend as well as yesterday and today and have asked for an injunction to stop those ballots from being accepted. Arshay Schrader joins us live from the Election Center with the latest. Yes, Madeline, a federal judge has just denied an injunction in the case, meaning that absentee ballots dropped off after this past Friday will be accepted. Several GOP officials, including the director of the Georgia GOP, testified in front of that judge this afternoon, as well as Colin McRae, who's the chairman of the Chatham County Board of Registrars, which oversees voter registration and absentee voting in the county. McCray testified that the decision was made to open county facilities to accept absentee ballot drop offs over the weekend, which was on the same day it was announced this past Friday. The judge did ask lawyers for the Chatham County Board of Elections why they waited so long to make that decision, but they said that they had no reason to add to the record. Officials with the GOP testified that they had that had they known about the absentee ballot drop offs ahead of time, they would have allocated resources to have poll watchers present. The judge in the case, however, saying that the argument arguments made did not quote withstand the most basic level of statutory review and reading comprehension and that an injunction would deprive legal absentee voters of the right to vote. The judge also warning lawyers on the case that there were many factual errors in the lawsuit and warning them that he could sanction them in the future. We're going to keep following this here on WTOC, but for now, Madeline, back to you. Shay, thank you so much. That hearing is still going on right now, but it looks like the judge is about to toss out the lawsuit. Thank you so much, Shay.